Good afternoon everyone. Um, short video on the Lenovo IdeaPad uh, 120S I believe, this is the 14 inch. Um, I've already done the repair, unfortunately it was a bit too late by the time I remembered I might as well do, do a, a quick video just to help people out basically. Uh, the, the audio, uh, sorry, the um, DC jack was damaged quite badly, so I've, I've uh, kind of replaced this. I had to wait for the parts to come from AliExpress. Um, I bought them a pack of 10s. The, each ports are about £10 in the UK at this moment in time. And I'm not paying £10 for a port. I bought the full strip for about round about £11, £12. So this is the original port that was on the actual la laptop itself. And the back end is a bit crooked, like, like an anchor, basically, as you, as you can see here. Um, and let me grab it with the tweezers so you can get a better view of what's going on and I'll explain to you why I'm doing why I'm telling you everything and showing why I'm showing everything to you. Okay, so you get a good view of this, right. Go away. Unfortunately, the, I could not find the DC the charging DC port for this laptop, the 120 series, but the 100S and 100 uh, 14 inch are available, are listed. So, what's the situation here? When you get a, a, a Lenovo 120, a Lenovo 120S uh, with, with a 14 inch screen, it's a tiny little board and the DC port is soldered onto the board, board you'd be struggling to find an identical one. So I had to do a bit of a magic and a bit of a soldering uh, to, to try and overcome this issue. So I ordered these. These are actually for the 100 and 100S 14 inch series. It's similar, but it's not an identical port. So I've shown you the one before. Let me grab them by, let me grab this and grab that and see if you can s spot the difference. Focus. So, I'll grab both of them with a pair of tweezers, tweezers because my hands are sort of uh, probably on the way. So here you go. It's two different ports. Yeah? Happy? Okay. Now, funny enough, the original port, to, just to set an example, the original port sits, say, from the top. So when you desolder it, the motherboard's there and it sits on the top, okay? With the 100 series, it's, apart from the centre pin, the positive pin for, 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 for your 20 volts input, everything else probably is, is identically shaped, but the pot has to go from the underside of the PCB. And it fits in absolutely fine. The DC jack, as you can see, is inserted and is charging, battery is charging, but it goes from the underside. The only problem that you're going to have is that this 9, uh, 20 volt pin. You'll have to sort of uh, snap, it, snap it off and run a wire from this onto the, onto the uh, 20 volt uh, input on the PCB itself, the pin itself, basically. And you'll have to just run the jumper wire. And that's what I've done exactly on this, and it's perfectly, it's, it's working perfectly. So remember that, don't get fooled, you can still use the 100 series DC port, because the 120 is not listed. I could not find them on eBay, internet, AliExpress, you know, I've tried everything and it's not listed. I could not find the, the part, basically. So, luckily for this customer, this this 100 has done the job. As I said, I re I'm repeating myself, you can put this on the opposite side of the board um, and just, just snap the end off of this and just run a jumper wire. It's only only as the distance between the pin and the actual, sorry, this pin and, and the PCB pin uh, slot, I should say, whatever it is, is, is very minute, it's a couple of millimetres basically. So all I've done is I've gone for a single core wire um, and uh, basically um, this is what I've used. Single core wire, stripped it apart, soldered it, and superb, the job is well done. So that's the way around overcoming an issue as, as such as this. It's pity that I've put everything back together, otherwise I could have shown you what, what's been done on it. Um, but just so that, you know, you guys know that there is a way of sorting these out anyway. Uh, when you 
when you come come with a problem like this where the parts are not listed. Um, anyway, that's all. Thank you very much for watching. Take care, and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.